Grandma, two kids are out here making fun of me. Is someone being mean to my little Ronnie? Brats. Don't worry, honey. Now Grandma will take care of them. <laughs> you should have seen their faces. Next time, those two will think twice before crossing Skinny. Do you need some more bubble bath by any chance? I have a bottle of it here with me. Will hear us. Okay, you can go in. You can lay it down on the bubble bath shelf. If I still had the skin. The best way to attract likes on social networks. Let's just say my soul is not the only thing death took from me. And here I thought you were the only one with such a low IQ. I don't want to risk cracking my phalanges. The revenge of millions of goldfish ruthlessly flushed down the toilet. Why don't you sit on it? Oh no, I've seen what happens in jail. Not before he's done with his bath. I don't think it's a good idea. Someone should really tell him not to use all those bath salts. The character designer of this video game must be slightly obsessed with robust personas. If it's any consolation, I had the misfortune of seeing such intimacies, too. Not before he's done with his bath. What are you doing locked in here? I'm enjoying some well-earned rest. I work as a security guard at the city museum, so situations like this don't come around that often. Luckily, Ralph, my cousin, hates Halloween and offered to cover for me. A security guard for the museum is really necessary on Halloween night? That's what I told the union. But do you think they listened? Anyway, take this. To repay the favor of the bubble bath. It's a bit wet. I don't even want to know where you kept it. The museum is closed to the public, but you can enter with this pass if you find yourself in that area. If you go, let me know if that midget has everything under control. Not a bad neck warmer at all. Why would I need a face hugger when I've already got you perpetually breathing down my neck? Winter is coming. Isn't it a bit dishonorable for a knight to keep a shawl on its shoulders? Do you have any idea how cold it is in this tin box? I am almost a thousand years old now. I must think about how to protect my bones too. Isn't it time that you retire after all these years? I'd like that. Believe me, I'd like that very much. But unfortunately, the Duke has never paid for my honored services. I never knew David Bowie recruited knights. I'm not talking about the thin white Duke, but about the black Duke. Ah, I see. Only thing missing was the poser dinosaurs. Except defeat, Rex. You can never compete in a race with the Velociraptors. What do you want? Do you like being a night watchman? I'm filling in for my cousin. 
just for tonight. Yes, he told me. So you probably know I accepted because I hate Halloween. It gets on my nerves. What kind of childhood trauma did you suffer to have such an aversion? Once a guy slammed a gigantic pumpkin right on my head. It took four days before doctors could get me out of it. Maybe that chair is a bit too high for you. And to think it was the smallest one I could lay my hands on. I suppose you needed a ladder to sit on it. At least I can easily get to the console this way. What about that heart rate monitor? I'm a heart patient. I need it to check my pulse. Maybe if you didn't drink so much coffee... That's easy for you to say. Night shifts here are deadly boring. Small, chubby, and a heart patient. Is there anything else? Your sarcasm leaves me completely indifferent. You have the reigning national champion of the insult contest in front of you, in case you didn't know. Nobody and nothing can beat my sharp tongue. Show me then. Do your parents have full-sized kids too? Attacking my height. You can't think of something new? You'll end up with bad posture if you stay so long in this place. Anything's better than the sight of your ugly face. I thought you were better than this. What a disappointment. Your cousin wanted to know if it was all okay here. Yeah, right. I have so many unruly visitors to keep at bay. What is he afraid of? The Anubis statues will come back to life? I'll let you work in peace. Hey, Ralph, what's new? Absolutely nothing. I don't want to be a know-it-all, but I remember these were used by the Native Americans, not by Egyptians. Perhaps it's the very last thing I need. It certainly cannot be said she doesn't know how to sit on that throne. You look like you're waiting for someone. I'm waiting for one of my countless suitors to get the nerve to come forward. What would keep them from doing it? Exactly what I've been asking myself. I'm afraid everybody is too scared of my beauty. The burden of being so beautiful, yes. What should this mythical Prince Charming be like? For centuries now, I've been waiting. We queens too have certain needs to satisfy. I just want to find a good mummy to spend the rest of infinity with. That shouldn't be so difficult after all. Don't rub it in. What happened to the pharaoh? The servants found him dead, poisoned by the bite of a snake. I remember I was so angry with him. Not that the two things were connected, obviously. Of course, of course. I have a dilemma. Don't you think you're too young? Um, what? You can't be more than 15. Well, it's true that my beauty transcends age, after all. Actually, I did... I didn't want to hit on you. Do you think I'm not attractive enough? No, absolutely, you are. I didn't mean to... You better. I'll leave you to your undertakings, my queen. It's a trap! Sorry guys, but I can't fill my sweater with thorns. Hey Ralph, what's new? Cut it out. Monkeys are always so adorably irreverent. Don't even think about starting some strange snowball battle, I warn you. Harmless. There's an incredible variety of ways it could lead to your demise. In the Renaissance era, Belladonna was used by ladies as eye drops to give a certain shine to their eyes. 
but its berries are potentially lethal. The oleander, one of the most common flowering plant species in the Mediterranean area, is poisonous enough to be avoided instinctively by the whole plant kingdom. Beware the classic health axiom of an apple a day. The seeds, if ingested in large quantities, can actually cause death. In short, if you're vegetarian or vegan, your days are numbered. Eat meat. Though, come to think of it, meat causes cancer. You all die. The reasons leading to the outbreak of the Second World War are various and complex. The conflict lasted for six years, from 1939 to 1945. The parties involved and battlegrounds fought were numerous too. After all, they called it a world war for a good reason. Therefore, what we propose today is a brief, intense, and pragmatic summary of the entire conflict. Funny. I got a D in history in junior high, so go easy on me. Smooched by hundreds of ugly spinsters because of a ridiculous fairy tale. Man, I don't envy that guy at all. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my ragtime gal. No, right? When I was young, I always dreamed of having one of these all of my own. And I still dream it now that there's one in front of me. Unfortunately, the only thing I could realistically take here is that bouquet. And I will not do it. I'm afraid it's just a showpiece. They'll have only left the external bodywork and very little else on the inside. I'm not three anymore. Surely the rodeo act that's both most amazing and inappropriate of all time. If I were you, I wouldn't make fun of that missile. That big Nazi of a doctor is still giving thanks. Don't you dare touch anything! One of the first ticking bomb models. I suppose the percentage of severed limbs caused by the early explosion of hand grenades has drastically declined since their invention. Hey Ralph, what's new? Cut it out. Hey Ralph, what's new? Cut it out. With such threatening bows, I can only imagine the effect it would have to face them on the high seas. It would be better to collect your thoughts before acting once in a while. Druidic potions, basically the equivalent of modern homeopathy. What do you want? This time, I'm sure I can do this. Be my guest, newbie. You will never be half the guard your cousin is, that's for sure. Ah, uh, that's more than I can endure. Behind you, an aortic dissection! Ugh! Uh. Right in the chest with surgical perfection. In my excitement of Star Wars The Phantom Menace, I couldn't stay in my seat. Ugh, oh, my asthma! I can't breathe! Quick! Emergency in the Egyptian room! The mummies must have woken up to mock your ugly costume. Don't you get bored looking at those screens so madly? A little, but your parents left the porn industry, sadly. From the look of things, the pumpkin shape on your skull is still visible. Ugh! The pain it causes me to talk of that fruit makes me miserable! I've never seen someone with a tummy so large. Still better than having just bones and cartilage. Perhaps your heart has been pierced by Cupid's arrow. Ugh! 
just my luck he'd hit a target that narrow. You have serious problems with halitosis. You'd better be worried about your osteoporosis. Your Netflix subscription has been hacked. Ugh, <sighs> oh, I'd rather prefer to be whacked. You're too tense. It isn't good for your health to do all that plotting. Said the guy whose carcass is rotting. You'll end up with bad posture if you stay so long in this place. Anything's better than the sight of your ugly face. Your name is the worst that I ever knew. I wouldn't say that to Wreck-It Ralph if I were you. All that coffee will kill you. Be careful with it. It gives me the energy to insult till you quit. I thought you were better than this. What a disappointment. This time I'm sure I can do this. Be my guest, newbie. In my excitement of Star Wars The Phantom Menace, I couldn't stay in my seat. Ugh, my asthma! I can't breathe! Your Netflix subscription has been hacked. Ugh, I'd rather prefer to be whacked. From the look of things, the pumpkin shape on your skull is still visible. Ugh! The pain it causes me to talk of that fruit makes me miserable! Perhaps your heart has been pierced by Cupid's arrow. I warned you, but you wouldn't listen. It seems to me he's short of breath. Contrast to popular belief, the Vikings weren't just a wild and savage people. Besides being great explorers and naval engineers, the Vikings were gifted in jewelry and in the art of commerce. Furthermore, the women were more liberated and independent compared to their European counterparts. Vikings really cared about their personal care. They had a sauna once a week. They removed unwanted hair and used iron sticks to clean their ears. There were no ranks or grades. The commander was the captain of the ship. Warriors could either be common citizens or professionals. Among these combatants were the Berserkers, warriors sworn to the supreme god of war, Odin. Legend told that they were invulnerable. It is believed they consumed a specific drug made by alcohol, jalapeno, and the green secretion of the evil egg, one of the most lethal mushrooms in the wild. Different from other populations, the Egyptians were perhaps the best known among historic civilizations. To avoid being redundant, we'll examine some of their false myths to offer some clarity. Tutankhamun, one of the most famous Egyptian pharaohs, actually reigned only 10 years and died at the age of 18. What made him famous is the myth of the curse linked to desecrating his grave. Lord Carnarvon, financier of his expedition, died one year before the discovery of King Tut's grave. 
Well, actually, the average lifespan of Carter and all the other archaeologists was around 70 years. Also fake is the myth about the construction of pyramids. They were not built by slaves, but by paid workers. Since there was no currency, workers were paid with barter, especially bread and beer. Fantastic people, aren't they? The cave painting idea might be set aside. What do you mean? Look for yourself to my right. I'll be darned! This will be worth a lot of money! Neolithic my foot! Come on, let's go! We've got work to do! Thank you. 